take a blank layout, then go to Shapes, pick up the Oval tool from Basic Shapes and draw an ellipse like this. Go to Shape Fill, give it dark color, shape outline, no outline. Then zoom out slightly and then place the ellipse in such a way that it covers the top portion like so. Now you can watch the thumbnail to see whether the placement is proper or not. Then press Ctrl D to create a duplicate. Place this so that it covers the bottom portion like this. Select both the shapes and ensure that they are centrally aligned and press Ctrl G to create a group. Then download your favorite pictures from the net. Place them one next to the other like this with a little bit of gap between them. When I zoom out, you can see that I've got a whole bunch of them and then group all of them together. Right click and send them to back. Now, when I go to slideshow, this is how it looks. Now, duplicate the slide, select the next one using the thumbnail as the guidance. Hold the shift button and move the group like so so that the center picture is right at the center. So these two white lines will be our guidance for the remaining picture showcase. Now go to transitions and add morph transition for this second slide. Now right click, duplicate slide. Once again, do the exact same thing. Hold the shift button down and move the group like this so that the next picture comes right at the center aligning with these lines. You can use your arrow key to make sure that the alignment is proper like so. Now continue doing that for the remaining ones as well and you can see that these lines are all perfectly aligned. So each time I've just moved so one picture is highlighted in the center. The past one is shown in the left corner like this and the next one awaits its turn in the right corner. So keep moving that one after another till you've got all the pictures aligned the way you want. Now, since we have applied morph transition already to each of the slides, when I go to slideshow, this is how the first one appears. Then on a click, you can see that the photo is beautifully showcased for the next one. And this keeps moving from one to the next, giving the illusion that you are watching something inside a theater and you'll be able to enjoy each picture one after another. This works beautifully to showcase your photos from a travel or if you want to showcase your company's past photos, etc. For more tutorials, come to Presentation Process YouTube channel.